hi women so i actually want to do two videos today so i'm going to make this kind of quick but i still want to do shorty girl to use pregnancy tag um so yeah i'm going to make this quick um and hopefully a lot of other people do it too because i'm nosy you know that's all is this your first pregnancy no this is not my first pregnancy i've been pregnant seven times and i had one live birth and that was with my son who's eight years old so this will make my second live birth so um all of my miscarriages before were around before my son and i haven't been pregnant since so basically i haven't been pregnant for eight years it's doing pretty good um yeah so now i have I'm gonna have two sons, two little boys, so yeah. No girls. Um, and that was for my ex husband, so yeah. Um, how did you find you were pregnant and how did you feel about it? Um, I found out I was pregnant just based on instinct alone. Um, I was not having any pregnancy symptoms. I had not missed my period. I would I just something just told me I was pregnant because you know, I was smoking cigarettes and well, yeah, I quit once I found out I was pregnant, but, you know, something just kept telling me just go take a pregnancy test. Like I said, I wasn't having any symptoms. It's just something just kept telling me I was pregnant. Um, how did I feel about it? I felt okay because I knew um, the first thing I did was try to wrap my mind around how, you know, I was going to handle it. Um, whether it be with or without him. Cause like I said, in marriage, you know, I'm divorced, so I try to do things now with a just in case you're not around. Um, so I felt okay about it because I knew I'd be finishing school shortly after he was born and able to get back to my, you know, career after he was born without an issue. And with what I make, I would be able to take care of him, me, and anybody else fairly well when I start working again off of what I make so yeah I felt good about it financially and every other way too because I don't know yeah I just did how did you tell your partner I just told him I was pregnant and that's it I didn't you know it wasn't a big like yeah I didn't plan out how to tell him I didn't it was kind of like I'm pregnant, so yeah, get your shit together. Um, not that he wasn't already, but still, um, I'm such a bitch. Um, when are you due? I don't like telling. Actually, you know what? That's funny because nobody knows my exact due date. <laughs> nobody. Um, I don't, and you could probably do the math if you watch my videos or whatever, but you still wouldn't be right on point. I don't like telling people my due date. I never have. Like, <sighs> um first of all i just don't feel i just don't like telling anybody my due date it's i don't know maybe i'm just superstitious or whatever but I, just, I don't like doing that um what am i having a boy um what is his name i do have a name finally picked out for him but i won't be telling that name until he's here um, me and his dad actually came up with a name finally this town what the hell is this town doing we finally came up with a name for him um, that we agreed on way back before everyone else kept telling us no 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 but this is the only name that we ever agreed on is the only name that actually ever felt right so we're going back to that name and I'm taking the middle name okay now, my least favorite part about pregnancy, I think my least favorite part about pre being pregnant is the everything I can't do while I'm pregnant. Everything I can't do while I'm pregnant. Like gaining, you know, you've heard, you got, you guys have heard me complain about weight issues because, you know, I had, I've been being real careful and I haven't been working out. So I've been I haven't been able to the things I can't do is my least favorite part. Like I can't drink, can't smoke, can't um, work out, you know, and like 
So yeah, I think that would be it. Just everything that I can't do. Um, what's my favorite part about being pregnant? My favorite part about being pregnant is I like, I actually, even though I complain about all the weight gain, because I have gained a lot of weight, I actually like the shape of my body. Like, I like the shape of my body right now. Like, I don't know. It's cute to me. I like it. Um, I don't feel uncomfortable, excuse me, TMI, during sex or anything else or bathing suits. Two pieces. Like, I'm good. Like, I really like the shape of my body right now. And, yeah, so that's my favorite part about being pregnant. Um, how do I feel about myself right now? Um, physically, I feel like I'm a big ball of mush, but I'll get over it, um, shortly in the next month and something when I start working out. Cause I, I've been mushy, when I say mush, like just mushy. Um, emotionally, I feel okay. I feel like I've been a little bit straightforward with people, like not exactly bitchy, but like less tolerant of bullshit and I don't think anything's wrong with that so I'm I'm fine with that um how much weight have I gained ha <laughs> we can talk about that again I pre-pregnancy like right before I found I was pregnant I was 139 and now I am right now to this day 179 so at this point and i still have a month left i have gained 40 pounds exactly and i'm pretty sure i'll be gaining more but maybe not um yeah so um that that has not been fun um i'm not really too much worried about getting the weight off because with my son like honestly and i'm not even trying to you know talk smack here I am like a workout fanatic. Like I gotta work out. Gotta work out. Always constantly doing like detox and not on pills, but just like water, lots of water, detoxing my body. Like I, I am I'm not a health freak because I still eat basically I'm not worried about getting back down to my weight. Um favorite cravings. My favorite cravings have been anything well at first they were all i was on a lot of meat like everything meaty like liver especially liver like and anything like meaty i had to have meat like beef um now i'm on sweet stuff like candy and stuff but lately i've been trying to well i'll talk about that in my next video um favorite fast food restaurant is definitely chipotle's like, oh gosh, those freaking tacos and burritos with that corn and that, and those tomatoes and that steak up in the, oh my gosh. Like, I drive 45 to 50 minutes just to get Chipotle's. So yeah, that's definitely my favorite fast food restaurant. What do I wish someone told me about pregnancy? Nothing, because this is my second time doing it. However, what I wish I would have known I was honestly with my son such a nice, pleasant, pregnant person. Like, so I would have to say, if anything, I mean, I wish someone had told me that maybe hormones were real. Because I used to complain. I used to be like, when I was pregnant, my son, I was constantly like, why are they always crying and getting upset? And da, 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 da. I thought it was honestly just a show and just an excuse that people use when they was pregnant. No. Cause this preg this pregnancy, I have been going crazy. Like, I have been going from crying to like straight demon, and then to angel, and I just, oh uh, yeah. And some, and I know it's hormones because it, it it makes no sense to me after the fact of why I reacted, you know, the way I did. Okay, so I try been trying to check that too, and. Just sit back and realize and think about it and find out if it's some hormones doing it or if it's me and if it makes sense. Okay, but anyway. How is your partner handling the pregnancy? He is, at this point right now to this day, excited, 
but still because this is his first child this is my second um but this is his first so he's um he's kind of nervous because he's never been a dad before and he wants to make sure that he has everything perfect and he does it right and he doesn't mess him up and all this stuff so um yeah he is just a little bit nervous right now and trying to figure out how to be a dad but my suggestion to him was basically to i don't know if i was right for saying this but just be his friend first and then work your way into the parenting role like you'll figure it out nobody's perfect like nobody makes all the right decisions for it so people make mistakes because we're human um Anyway, do you have a birth plan? I talked about it last week. Don't really have one. Just want pain, um, pain medicine, um, and to get him out safe. Uh, oh yeah, and nobody in that room, because those are things I can't control. Um, scariest or most embarrassing thing about this pregnancy? I haven't had a lot of scary or embarrassing moments. Um. No, I haven't had either one, to be quite honest with you. I'm trying to think. Scary. Nothing has happened. This has been a very uneventful pregnancy. Like, everything's went on like it's supposed to. Embarrassing. I would agree and say the gas, but I'm really open about that. Around, because it usually is around my boyfriend. I'm really open about that, so I, I, don't, I don't really care. Um, so I, that ain't embarrassing. Uh, yeah, that's it. I, that's all. No, no, nothing. Um, am I ready for the baby? No, I'm not, to be honest with you. Like, I am so freaking nervous and <sighs> I'm nervous because I, I have a lot of like, okay, basically this will be, I have my son during summers and all that stuff. So this will be the first child I actually raised, you know what I'm saying, like that. And that's, I'm not married, so I want to say depending on me, like, I'm planning for him to be there. He's planning on being there, but still I'm not married. So, um, I get a little bit worried about that and like, the same type of words as him. Just am I going to be like good enough for him? And am I ready to like even like I got all of my baby stuff or whatever for the most part. Except for maybe like two items. And I don't like still don't feel ready. Like I don't know. Like he's going to need stuff like and now I'm, now I'm worried because I don't have stuff for three to six months. Like, and I'm not going to be able to have everything from now to 18 years old that he's supposed to have. But, yeah, it just, it's just me. Um, I think it's just in me being anxious about the whole thing. Um, do you want more children? Yes, I do. I I used to actually want 12 kids. I want, And I had it planned out. I wanted seven boys and five girls. I think I'm a little bit beyond the age to push for 12. Well, I'm 27. So I'm a little bit beyond the age to push for 12 kids right now. Like unless I have them every year until I turn 40 and no way in hell. So yeah, um, I at least want two more kids, but not directly. Maybe within the next five to six years. I at least want two more kids. And I at least want one girl. I mean, it doesn't matter because I love, love, love little boys. Like, I, I really do. Um, but a girl would be a nice little, you know, to throw up in the. But, yeah, um, that is it. So, that is it for this pregnancy tag. I hope you guys enjoyed my answers. And they weren't very much detailed because I had 15 minutes to do this video. But, yeah. So, yeah, um. Yeah, you guys make it too because I want to be nosy. I want to see answers. So, yeah, thanks, Shorty Girl, to you for this tag. And I'm out because I want to make another video right now before it ends at 15 minutes. Okay, daddy.